What's up, YouTube? This is Chew Raw 4 TV. So it was back in December of 2022 when longtime ABC journalist Barbara Walters passed away at the age of 93. She had been sick for quite some time. Her last notable gig was as the creator and leading host of The View, which still airs to this very day. Two former co-hosts from that show, Sherry Shepard and Joy uh, Behar, got together recently. And Sherry Shepard, who now hosts, I think, uh, Wendy Williams' old show, had Joyce on her show. And they pretty much revealed and confirmed something that pretty much was already an industry uh, given. Like, like it was already something that was well known and already well reported. You have some people complaining about this, but uh, this is something that was already well known. And that is that Barbara Walters had an affinity for black men. Okay? Uh, put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. The former co host reminisced about how most of their colleagues were scared of Walters, especially Shepard, who recalled how she shared the shocking revelation with. Beha, influential comedian and writer Paul Mooney, who was Pryor's best friend, once told uh, Sherry Shepard that he had walked in on Walters having sex with the Harlem Knights star. I came and I told you, and I said, Paul Mooney said he caught Barbara with Richard Pryor. He walked in on them, and then I was like, don't tell nobody. Shepard said, the next day, Barbara walks in and you go, Something like, so you're schlepping Richard Pryor, huh? At 56, Shepard recalled the broadcast news trailblazer turned around. You know Barbara's head would swivel like that and ask in a stern voice, who told you that? Shepard, meanwhile, said she was sitting there like, I done just got this job, fearful she would get fired. The on-screen chemistry between Walters and Pryor, the latter of whom died December 10, 2005, at 65, was undeniable during their exclusive interviews. Walters once told Oprah Winfrey in 2004, He's fascinating because he's more than a comedian. I interviewed him four times. The second time was after he had set himself on fire. The third was when he admitted to me that he had set himself on fire. I'm touched by Richard Pryor because I saw this brilliant man self-destruct uh, kind of skimming through some of the stuff Behar who worked closely with Walters since launching The View back in 1997 admitted that she did have a type you know Barbara between me and you Barbara liked the brother she was going out with a black senator now that black senator in this photograph is Edwin Brook Edwin Brook who was I think the first black elected senator uh, in the United States Senate uh, since Hiram Revels. I think his name was Hiram Revels. But I think the issue with Hiram Revels was the United States Senate pretty much refused to acknowledge him and refused to seat him, if I'm not mistaken. There's some issues with that. But he's technically the first, I think he was the first black sitting senator, or he's the first black United States senator in 100 years. One of the two. But she had an affair with him back in the 1970s. Bihar and Shepard also recalled how Walters had a thing for former United States Secretary of State Colin Powell. Now, I don't think she ever slept with Colin Powell, but um, she she would flirt with him. Colin Powell, of course, was married, and you might be wondering why I got, you know, James Evans, aka John Amos, aka Kansas City Mac, up here. Well, it was also rumored; it's not mentioned in this uh, in this article, but it was rumored that she had an affair, <clears throat> an affair with John Amos. I say affair because I think she was married, Barbara Walters, or at least in stretches she was married. 
I don't know if John Amos was attached or not, but it was said that she had slept with John Amos. So yeah, this was something that was very well known, that Barbara Walters liked black men. But you know, that's something that had to be kept under wraps back in the 70s because she was already stigmatized and ostracized as the only real notable woman uh, in on the news at that time. I mean, there were other women, you know, that had uh, broken through at that time. Uh, what was her name? Um, Melissa Clark? Michelle Clark. Michelle Clark. That's the one that tragically died in that plane crash. I think it was December 1972. Um, there, you know, she was a trailblazer, a black woman, but Barbara was the first star in broadcasting that was a woman. So she already had enough stigma and, and ostrac ostrac people ostracizing her because of that. Men not wanting to work with her because she was a woman. So if it got out that she was sleeping with black men, that probably would have ruined her career. So I guess she had a gentleman's agreement with these men and probably others that, you know, she wanted to get her stroke on. But just, let's be discreet about it. And that, that was the case. But I guess now they figure, well, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Paul Mooney's dead. Senator Burke is dead. Richard Pryor's dead. Barbara Walters is dead. Uh, Colin Powell's dead. Now, John Amos is still alive, but I don't really think he frankly gives a shit about that. So, I guess they figured, well, you know, what are we protecting anymore? And then, you know, you got to look at it like, well, what's wrong with that? Anybody that gets offended, like, oh, why are they putting her business out there? Well, you know, why is this? Well, why, what's wrong with that? I mean, any, uh, any other person who's deceased, uh, they put out that they had an affair with this person when they were married and all of this. You know, Rick James had an affair with this person. <clears throat> Hell, my selling his reputation even more. What's so special about Barbara Walters? And all she did was sleep with black men. But I guess that's looked down upon. You know? It is what it is. But this ain't surprising. I always heard, about, I always heard this about Barbara Walters. But uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think.